yeah forex arithmetic uh, basic as we have discussed earlier uh, there are basic uh, two types of codes in forex arithmetic one is direct code and another is indirect code one unit of foreign currency expressed in terms of domestic currency is direct code similarly one unit of domestic currency expressed in terms of foreign currency is indirect code one dollar is equals to rupee 60 is direct code in india whereas one dollar is equals to rupee 60 is indirect code in us remember one unit of foreign currency expressed in terms of domestic currency is direct code in domestic country clear okay then uh, we have cross rate what does uh, cross rate is uh, will be given one dollar in terms of rupees and also one dollar in terms of euros and we will be asking euros in terms of rupees this is cross rate that is rate between uh, two different currencies or say rate between three currencies three different currencies in two different combinations is given and a third combination is asked that is cross rate see dollar in terms of rupee is given dollar in terms of euro is also given rupee in terms of euro or euro in terms of rupee is asked this is cross rate and the method we determine this cross rate that is the method we find uh, by which we find this euro in terms of rupee is called chain rule clear cross rate that is relation between third currency and method to find that relation method to find cross rate is chain rule okay how to find it what is chain rule simple one dollar is given as rupee 60 similarly one euro is given as sorry one dollar is given as euro 0 0.758 now we have asked euro in rupees this is nothing but from these two equations we can write rupee 60 is equals to euro 0 0.758 that implies 1 euro is equals to rupee 60 by 0 0.758 solving this we get euro in terms of rupee that is nothing but chain rule clear next term value date value date is nothing but the date on which exchange of currency is actually taking place see though i enter into a foreign exchange contract today actual physical uh, exchange of currency might take place some other day so the day on which actual exchange of currency is taking place is called value date so depending on value date my market can be classified into four different types what is that one is cash or ready that is immediately uh, exchange of currency is being taking place that is normally called as hawala hawala transaction that is immediate exchange of currencies next is tom t o m that is value date is tomorrow tom stands for tomorrow the value date that is the date on which exchange of currency is taking place is next working day uh, next working day to the uh, contract date that is i'm entering into a foreign exchange contract today my physical exchange of currency is being taking place tomorrow that market is called tom next is spot spot is the market where the exchange of currency that is value date is t plus 2 that is second working day thomas t plus 1 that is today we are entering into a contract exchange of currency is taking place in 